Hi, my name is Vladimir, and in this video, I will show you how to join Connect Pro Session as a speaker. Before we get started, make sure your technical setup is ready for the session. In case that you need a quick reminder, watch our video on how to set up your equipment. Now let's get started. Open your browser. We do recommend Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, or Microsoft Edge. Log into your session with a meeting link and access token provided. After typing in your name, you will be directed to the pre-call test page where you get to select camera, microphone, do a short recording of yourself to check sound quality and test your connection. In case that lobby room is enabled for your meeting, host will need to grant you access once they are logged in. You will now receive a notification that the host has joined the meeting, meaning that the session is ready to start. As the first time user, you would need to allow access to your microphone and camera. Click OK and select the language you would like to listen to during the meeting under the interpreting section here. Select none to hear the default floor language. You can always return and select a different language channel during the session. Once your preferred language is selected, auto volume button appears and is on by default, meaning that you will be always listening to the chosen language either directly from the speaker or interpreter. In case you would like to have a full control of what you're listening to, Disable it and adjust floor interpreter volume mix by using these two volume bars. When you have joined a meeting, your microphone, video and screen sharing icons are grayed out and not available. Once it's your turn to speak, press the green hand icon so the host sees you're ready to speak. The host will then add you to the queue of the following speakers waiting to take the floor, if any. When it's your turn to take the floor, a pop-up window will appear saying that the host has allowed your streaming and asking whether you want to enable both audio and video or just audio. Your video will appear in the video section for everyone to see. Your audio is now also live and others can hear you. Red moving bar and stop streaming button indicate that you are on air. If you want to share your screen, click on the blue screen icon from the top bar and select the screen, application or tab you'd like to share. Icons will turn blue when you've been permitted to take the floor. Under the control buttons, you can see the list of all participants. This list is in alphabetical order and host is shown on top, followed by participants who have requested to take the floor. Red icon by the name of the participant indicates they are currently streaming. You can search participants by their name in this field here. By default, the main video on your screen is the one shared by the active speaker. If you prefer to see a different video, deactivate auto feature below the video quality selector and select a video you would like to see from the left hand side. Click on the main video to enter gallery mode where all the videos are of the same size. To leave this mode, just click on any of the videos and that video will become main video once again. You can enlarge video with a full screen interface button from the bottom right hand corner of the main video. All features and navigation are now located at the bottom of the screen. You can keep this bar fixed by clicking on this small white pin, otherwise the bar disappears after a few seconds of being inactive. One new function here is a split screen icon that shares the screen into two equal parts, but you can additionally drag this white line in the middle until you reach desired size of the videos. Shuffle the videos by clicking on those side arrows. Click on this icon to see only the speaking person if you would like to focus or free up some of your bandwidth that other videos could consume in case of connection issues. To switch back to the standard interface and exit the full screen, simply click on the last icon in the bottom right hand corner or use the escape button on your keyboard. Start a private chat with a certain participant by clicking on this arrow here or by using the ladder icon from the bottom right hand corner. You can ask questions and send messages to everyone in the event chat. Remember that this is a public chat and your message will be visible to all. Make the font bigger or turn on audible notifications for messages here. If enabled for your event, there will be file section visible where the host can share some files with participants during the event. Same stands for voting and polling during the session. When enabled, you will see this icon and get inquiry to participate. 
When captions are provided for your meeting, host can enable this option on their end and it will become visible to you also. Adjust the caption settings here. Change color, background and size, or even turn it off. If you ever experience bad connection, click on Restart All Lines button. This will refresh your connection and you will be back on track within a couple of seconds. If you're having any other technical problems during a meeting and need assistance, open a remote support chat from the bottom right hand corner. Remote support team will answer immediately and lend you a helping hand. When you are done presenting, click on the Stop Streaming button. This won't disconnect you from the meeting. It simply means your audio and video is no longer being streamed to the others and you now return being a listener. If you forgot to click the Stop Streaming button, don't worry, host will do it for you. Once you stopped streaming, button transforms into a red phone handle button that will be used to disconnect from the session once it's over. If you accidentally click on it, simply click on the green button again and it will be reconnected immediately. When the session ends, before you log out, first disconnect and then log out from the top right hand corner. Don't forget to do this, otherwise you might have troubles logging into your next meeting. Now you're all set. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos on how to interprovide.